hello everyone welcome back to my unity open world tutorial series so in this episode i'm going to show you how to add footstep sounds like this so yeah as you can see here so when the character walk you can hear footstep sound on the places at the time when the character put the foot on the ground so that's what i am going to do today okay so to add footstep sounds first uh, we need to create an event for the animation so let me open the animator so this is uh, this is the working state let's go there and if I yeah now I need to open the animations window so it's like this so here I can select the time I need and add an event but the problem is this animation is read only so how to fix that right uh, so to fix it well for the idle animation I don't need any event so let's go to the walking so yeah walking is also if I go here it's read only so yeah therefore I can't add any event mm, so let's go to the project folder assets folder again and then here select this and I should be able to yeah I can duplicate with the control D right now this is working all right and yeah we have that animation now so instead of this animation now I'll use this walking animation it should be same as before yeah so for the running also uh, I'll do the same thing running is this one I'll duplicate it with control W sorry control D and run and the next animation is yeah for this now I'll use the run animation next animation is sprinting or fast run so control D duplicate and rename it as fast run oops okay now yeah let's first select the work in animation and now as you can see all these parameters are I can modify them so let's go to the animations window now uh, this add event option is available because this is not read only at the moment after duplicating and creating a new thing so yeah how to re preview this okay so yeah I'm not sure how to preview this here but anyway um, yeah, we can find out which frame I need let's go to the running so in sorry let's first start with working working so in the first frame I need uh, an event for foot step and then in the tenth frame so first frame tenth frame and then in 20 
fifth frame first ten twenty four okay so these are what is this unit oh, here we have the frame okay in the first frame I'll add an event can I use it let's select working right now I can select a function but no function selected okay so what if I select this one no right so for that we need to define some functions so to define functions we need a script so here I'll create a C sharp script I'll call it animation events character animation events let me open it so yeah I don't think I need to start to update so I delete it public white footstep and let's add that script here to the character mesh now let's go to the animations and in the working so when i select this i have this footstep event cool so i sh i need it at first frame and also in the 10th frame another event select footstep and also in the 24th event 24th frame add an event and add footstep right now let's do the same for running as well so for running i need an event at Well, uh, yeah, wait a minute. I think adding an event at first frame is wrong. So I'll add one in the 10th frame and another one in 27th, 26th frame. Yeah, I don't need an event here. Sorry about that. Let me delete that. Right. So for running. I need an event at frame 8 yeah frame 8 this is where I am checking the frame number and then frame 18 frame 8 step and 18 for step also for sprinting so for sprinting I need to use this fast run animation oh is that the one I used here let me check yes okay select we added for running and next thing fast run so we need an event at frame 4 and 13 
4 and 13 okay frame 4 is here first step and frame 13 add another event and select footstep function cool now to see if these functions are being called I'll add a debug log I'll print just footstep into the console and do I have any other prints I don't know let's see now let's see what happens oh I am printing this velocity as well I don't need it anymore Alright, let's see if these have been called. Right, um, if I minimize the game window, you can see footstep is, you can see the footstep. Why is it keep? Playing. All right. We should have some option to control uh, which event should fire at which position, at which speed. So yeah, I have imported this footstep sound into my project into asset audio folder. So let's just play this sound. Um, yeah, in order to play this sound, I need a reference to that file, audio file. So let's add one public sound, sorry, audio source. Add your. No, let's use the term AUD step and oh I should define it not here in the character animation events I'm not going to keep it this way for long this is only for demonstration so a UT no to play this one we need a reference to an audio source as well so let's add another one like this public audio all right so this should be audio clip and we need another one called audio source i'll call it audio So we need to make sure that we all have two valid references here otherwise we will get null reference error so uh, you audio to play one shot AUD first step okay and now here select the character mesh we have these two references so first I'll add an audio source to the character mm. 
and let's use it like this and for the audio footstep use this one right now let's see what happens okay so audio is playing but I get some duplicates so yeah in the next episode I want to look into that issue but for now I'll stop at this point so here is the demonstration again okay so i'll do another source code release soon with the footsteps and everything and yeah if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye